Hello there, welcome to another video from Between CAD Classes. In this video, I'm going to be using Creo Parametric to create a 3D model of the part that you see here. It's a relatively simple shape, and what we're going to do on this video is look at two different ways that I can model this part. The first thing I will do is model it as extrusions, and then I will model it as a revolution. If you would like to create this model along with me, you can find a link to the detailed drawing in the description for this video. Let's first take a look at the workflow I'm going to use as I extrude these shapes. I'm going to begin by creating the larger cylinder extrusion and then stacking on top of that the smaller cylinder extrusion and then finally stacking on top of that the third cylinder extrusion. To get started then in Creo I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to give it the name of Creo Tutorial. Four. If you would like to see some other Creo Parametric tutorials, please check out the description for this video where I have placed a link to a playlist. I'm going to clear the default template because I want to make sure that I'm using the metric template. So I will scroll down to my MMNS part solid ABS template. Then click OK. So as I said, this first go around, I'm going to create this in three extrusions. So taking a look at the detailed drawing, the first cylinder has a diameter of 180 and will be extruded up 25 millimeters. So I will begin by creating an extrusion and then selecting the horizontal plane. As you can see, it projected the datum references. So I'm just going to come in with the circle and snap to the origin here, draw it any size middle mouse button to tell Creo I'm done drawing, then double click the weak dimension here and set it to 180. Now I can go ahead and finish and revolve my screen a little bit to see this in 3D and then set the height to 25. Then click OK. Now I've got my first shape. So the next shape, as we look at the detailed drawing, has a diameter 48 and I've got to do a little bit of math here. I've got 25 and 16 is 41. I'll subtract that from 60 to figure out that this extrusion is going to be 19 millimeters tall. So I will begin by creating another extrusion and then selecting the top circular surface here as my sketch plane. Once again, I'll snap with the circle to the origin, draw it any size, middle mouse button, then double click the dimension to edit it to a diameter of 48 then click OK. And then once more, I will adjust the height of this extrusion, in this case, to 19. Then click OK. One more extrusion then. We'll take a look at the detail drawing one last time for this method and see that we need a diameter of 68 and a height of 16. So once more, I will use my extrude tool and select the topmost surface here. I will draw a circle at the origin of any size, middle mouse button, and then adjust that dimension to 68. Then click OK, and then finally set in my height of 16. And then I can click OK. So now I've created the part, I've done it in three separate features. Next, we'll take a look at how we can do this as a revolve with one sketch. The workflow in this case is pretty simple because we're only going to have one sketch. And basically I want to create a sketch of half of the shape. So here you can see I've outlined the right half of the shape. This is what I'm going to be drawing. And then I will use the vertical line in the middle to revolve the shape around the axis. So back in Creo, I'm going to create another new part here. And this time I will once again call it Creo tutorial 04 and then I'll just put an A after it. Clear my default template and then once again make sure I choose my millimeter part solid. So for this one I'm going to begin with the revolve command. I will click on my front datum plane to sketch. Next I'm going to create a rough version of the revolve shape. I'll start my line command and I'll just simply start at the origin here, draw up 
over to the right and down. And then I want to make sure that I don't accidentally create any equal constraints. You can see I'm doing so right here. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't see any equals as I'm drawing. And then I can create a similar shape again, very rough, but I'm going to come back in with some dimensions. So after I middle mouse button here, I want to adjust some dimensions here. I'm going to start by adjusting my vertical dimensions. So the overall height should be 60. I'll adjust that dimension. The height of this shape should be 16. And then I don't currently have the dimension for this one because it's doing the dimension in between the shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and add the dimension to this line, middle mouse button, and set that to 25. So now I have all the vertical dimensions set. I need to work on my horizontal dimensions. As I look at my detailed drawing, I'm given diameter dimensions. That means I can go ahead and do the math and put in some radial values if I want, or instead I can actually place diameter dimensions. So back here in Creo, one of the things that you have to have for a revolve is a center line. I'm going to come here into the sketching panel and select center line. And then I will simply snap to the end point here and draw a vertical line, then middle mouse button. Next, I can add in my own dimensions. So the process for this is I'll start my dimension tool. I'll pick the center line, then a line that I want to dimension to, and then the center line a second time. Then I can middle mouse button and I will get a diameter dimension. So this particular one should be 68. So I'll show you that again. Once again, if I do the dimension and I pick the center line and then the line I want to dimension to, and I middle mouse button, I'm just going to get a linear dimension. So I'll delete that. If I want the diameter dimension, you have to go center line, the shape you want to dimension to, and then the center line again. Then when you middle mouse button, you will get the diameter dimension. Then I'll do that one more time for the bottom. Center line, the shape, and the center line again. Middle mouse button, and then I can go ahead and put that in as 180. A little bit extra work to get those diameter dimensions in, but the nice thing is, is if there's an engineering change and you need to change the values, you don't have to worry about doing any math to get the new values. All right, I'll go ahead and finish my sketch here with the OK button. And you can see because I already started with the revolve command and already specified my center axis, it's already started the revolve command. I could change the angle if I wanted to, if maybe I only wanted to go 180, I could do that. We'll go ahead and set this to 360 and finish. That concludes this tutorial and a look at two different ways to create the same part, one with extrusions and one with a revolve command. If you found this helpful, please like, of course, please subscribe. One more time, if you would like to do this along with me, take a look at the description and you will find the detailed drawing and you will also find a link to a playlist if you would like to see some more Creo tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.